welcome to in 5 minutes now i'll see a new concept nested structure that is structure inside another structure like we can have members of structure as primitive types like int float char or we can have arrays strings even you can have pointers also same way we can have a structure as a member of a structure also that is called as nested structure or defining structure inside a structure so let's see how we can do that that is how to define a structure inside another structure now to understand that we'll take a complete example and even solve it practically the question is define a structure employee to hold employee data such as id obviously it will be integer name will define as char array that is string and date of joining now what the date of joining will be see the date of joining is actually a date that will consist of three parts day month and year that is three integers so it is stated over there in the problem itself date of joining should be a structure that holds day month and year as part of the date so date will be a structure and that is going to be a member of main employee structure i hope you imagined it so we have to write a complete program to input and output one employee data just look at that statement again and understand the actual question we are going to have main employee structure that will have id name and date of joining where date of joining itself will be a structure holding day month and year now let's see how to define these structures because input and output is just done by printf scanf command with normal ampersand symbol percentage d percentage s and whatever but main part is how to define these structures so to begin with we need to define a structure date some name over here so this becomes a user defined type that holds three parts m d y that is d m y date month and year so if you define a structure variable suppose a of type date it will have three parts m d and y which i can access as a dot m a dot d or a dot y okay but we don't want that a separate structure we want that structure as a part of a employee structure now let's see how to define an employee structure we we'll define struct employee so employee again becomes a new user defined type we can define as many structures unions we want in our program so we can define as many user defined types in our program structure employee has three parts as stated in the question id there is a integer name that is a string there is a char array and third part we want as a date of joining that should be itself a structure to define the third member we can use a statement struct date and some name dt so dt will be of type structure date which is already defined over here so dt itself will be a structure holding m d and y now what if you define a variable of type employee let's see how it works to define a structure variable of type employee we'll write struct employee and some name m so m will have three parts id two byte integer name a 40 byte character array that is string and dt a structure holding three variables so m will be a structure holding three parts id an integer name a 40 byte string and dt a 6 byte structure itself having three parts m d and y so in all it will be 2 plus 40 plus 6 it will be 48 byte of data now how to access id to access id we can write m dot id to perform any operation on name we can write m dot name to perform any operation on dt we should write m dot dt but dt itself is a structure now structure is of no use for any kind of data input output we need to access its members that is m d and y to access that we should actually write dt dot m to access month for dt itself is a member of main structure m so it should be m dot dt dot m to access d we will at m dot dt dot d or to access year we can at m dot dt dot year so it's y of dt which is of m so that is how we can access the members of a structure so whenever you want to define a structure inside a structure first define the structure that you want to be member of another structure and then define that structure variable inside other structure and to access it we need to use a notation structure name dot nested structure name dot member name and to access its normal variables we have to write structure name dot member name now we'll see this complete program working in turbo c 